I know I've made this joke before, but I feel like I need to reiterate it because maybe some people thought that I was just joshing around. But honestly, if I could just rent an aisle inside of Target and just live there, it could be the lamest style. It doesn't matter. The one with tampons, the one with like the toilet paper, it doesn't matter. I would live in there because I absolutely love Target. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. I love going there and just shopping, spending a little bit of extra money there. Usually it's for collectibles, but sometimes, you know, a lot of the home goods are, are you know, of higher quality compared to Walmart and other different places. So I was there uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was just kind of browsing through the what I call the NECA slash Funko Pop section. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it. If you guys are not, then you guys should definitely check out your local Target. It's this little section, usually at the back of the store uh, near the electronic section where they have a lot of like really cool NECA action figures and they put a lot of Funko Pops and they usually put like SH Fig Warts and a couple of other lines like the NMA lines on there because they don't really fit into where like the Hasbro and Mattel stuff is at. So they, they have this little section and I, I'm not really a big fan of either. I, I'll look to see if there's like a, a Chase Funko Pop or a Funko Pop that I really want in my display. I've gone away from them recently but if there's something that i really really feel like you know belongs in my display i'll pick them up same thing with uh the neca stuff i'm not really a big neca guy anymore but i'll check them out just to see if there's anything cool i do want a predator and an alien for my display but just one or two maybe iconic looks because i do want to uh, display them uh, in in my dc display but again that's further down the line i just want like an iconic predator we'll see how how that goes but again i'm not really a big neca guy i really like the line and you know for the most part i'll go and check them out but i just don't buy a lot of turtles i don't buy a lot of this horror stuff uh, not because i don't like it just because there's usually like a hundred other things that i need to pick up before that so i went uh, into this little section like i said just kind of randomly browsing around and i ran into this reaction uh, or super seven reaction line now i've seen these figures before out of the corner of my eye i've never really paid too much attention to them and then i recently went uh to like a ross maybe like a month ago and i saw like a spongebob i think reaction action figure and i think it was for like eight dollars and i thought to myself who the heck is gonna pay eight dollars for this action figure now at the at the time i didn't really know how much these figures are going for i didn't know the value of them and so I kind of just passed on it. I thought it was a really cool figure. If it had been a little bit cheaper, I probably would have picked it up. But I decided I'm going to skip on it. I'll kind of look a little bit into the uh, reaction line just because I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and like I said, I see a lot of these content creators. I see a lot of these like news content creators or just people unboxing these on YouTube. And uh, I've, like I said, never really paid too much attention to them. But recently I decided that I would kind of pick one of these up and 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 just kind of check the price on them and see you know scan them because for for some unknown reason they're never at the correct uh they're never in the correct section so i had to go out there and scan it for a split second i thought my brain chip was malfunctioning or there was some sort of glitch in the matrix because these figures were going for 17.99 and i looked it up online and it seems that these figures are going to start retailing for about 20 dollars that's assuming you're not getting like a store exclusive or, or some sort of like con exclusive i know there's some new york uh exclusive ones that are going for about 24.99 and i can completely get it i mean these are like retro style action figures that are very reminiscent of how they look like uh in the like 80s or early 90s they had they're like the three and three quarter inch action figures and they had just the most minimal articulation of all time i guess there was a point in time back in history where people didn't really care about articulation points they didn't care about toe articulation they didn't really care about butterfly joints they probably didn't even know that terminology existed but here we are all these years later and they're trying to shove these down our throat for some unknown reason at a $20 price point. I just don't really understand the mindset behind this particular line. If you're really trying to push out a retro style line, it's cool. I mean, if you want to charge a reasonable price point, I mean, you see a lot of even even Hasbro releasing some of their three and three quarter inch uh, vintage uh, black series, or I should say the vintage collection line those figures are usually going for anywhere between the price point of like 12 to 15 dollars assuming they're not some sort of like store exclusive or they're not a deluxe pack but usually these are going to cost you about 15 dollars with way more articulation points 
a lot of the brand new technology, a lot of the brand new paint applications, the new articulation points that these figures are coming with, they're not just some cheap cash grab. And for me personally, these are a huge turnoff. I'm not necessarily against them per se, because I'm assuming there is a fan base out there that is like genuinely going out there and buying these. But for me personally, I think this is the, the biggest skip of all time. And honestly, I'm a little bit insulted that Target would even put these out there like not to say that i still don't love target but this is almost a crime against humanity how dare they assume that we're gonna pay twenty dollars for a tiny little four inch action figure and a crappy tiny little retro card and i know we live in the day and age where and this gets recycled over and over where people say well if it doesn't bother you blah blah just ignore it like i said i'm sure that it has its fan base but that doesn't necessarily mean that i can't that i can't come out and just criticize it these figures are so freaking limited that my one-year-old toddler probably has more articulation points than these ridiculous figures what's crazy is not only do they have the audacity to charge twenty dollars for these figures but just like with any other line there are some repaints out there they do make some like you know convention exclusive versions of these figures that are just like one monotone color or they're just glow in the dark i mean how ridiculous is that and i get it I mean, they're an action figure. Uh, they're an action figure manufacturer, so they obviously have to be able to reuse a lot of this stuff. But I think it's just an absolute joke. And honestly, I might have just sniffed too many Smarties. I might have just burned through all of my brain cells. Maybe they're not firing on all cylinders. Maybe I'm missing something here. But to me personally, not only is this the most overhyped, overrated line, but it's the most overpriced. I think it's funny that a lot of people go at companies like Hasbro and McFarlane, and clearly they have slipped up here and there. But this is one of those lines that I feel like is there's minimal effort being pushed out into these but just because of the nostalgia factor i think there are a lot of consumers that are going to go after them but i feel like you know super seven has definitely been able to take advantage of that and really run with it i'm gonna assume that maybe this is a smaller company maybe they have to pay a premium for a lot of their raw goods or raw materials maybe the factories that they work with are not able to give them a deal because they're not insanely mass producing these the way that you know maybe hasbro and mcfarland and all these other companies are able to do it so again just an assumption but still twenty dollars for these you know three and three quarter inch figures it's an absolute joke and it's an embarrassment i think to the community just my personal opinion my personal take let me know what your what your thoughts are down below in the comment section maybe i'm the only person on planet earth that thinks this way but it's just my humble personal opinion let me know what yours is down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for tuning in i really appreciate the likes the subscriptions and the comments i will see you guys in the next one thank you